We've had to make an emergency purchase. Desperate times come for call for desperate measures. And we've had to buy a sewer, quad sewer. No other way of getting the sewing done. And uh, for the second year in a row, uh, a quad sewing man has let me down. Sat him up, give him about, we must be in touch with him now about a month. Definitely three weeks. And uh, had him well booked in advance. And as soon as the weather came, he just ghosted me. Stopped answering the phone, never texted me back to let me know that he couldn't come or wouldn't come. So, not going to be caught again. This is going to be here now, and I can use it whenever I want. Just as well. Anybody out there is, uh, is into that sort of game, doing bits of contracting, just ring the farmer and let them know. Like, it's not as if we're going to go mad at you. Like, the sooner go mad at you not telling them what's the story instead of just being honest with them. There's nothing more frustrating than being stuck in limbo, not knowing where you are, what you are, or to get somebody else. Then if you leave it too, too late, waiting on somebody, then you're never going to get anybody else to do the work. So, just really frustrating. So, this is going to take that problem away from me, you know. And uh, we're going to make a start here while the weather is still okay as you see the clouds are overhead so we're going to try and make a start here today and get round home uh, at least done we're away here now till fertilizer far away silage ground it's about eight mile away from us uh, we done all around home as you'll see in this video as well we done all around home with uh, the quad sore just uh, we are a wee bit heavy soiled up here so I don't think the tractor no the tractor definitely wouldn't have worked hey, not a chance uh, far too heavy hey I was actually surprised how wet it was to be honest even with the quad sore <coughs> um, and as well as that grass is very heavy up around home here very heavy which makes it's going to make rolling now I don't know what to do with it um, too strong to go in now and start breaking the stem of the grass. Try and maybe if we can get the, mar the day dry, maybe tomorrow, just go in and roll the ruts and get out again. As you can see, the boss man's with me here. He said hello. Hello. Take about probably an hour round trip. Uh, time we go down and uh, so we'll come back up the road again. Probably take about an hour around the trip. We had an eventful morning here this morning as well. When we came out, when a cow stretched out in the calving pen, she took milk fever. So, thankfully, I had Rory here uh, milking this morning, giving me, an, giving me a hand. So, it allowed me to get uh, her up and going again and get away in decent time.
I'm in one of my silage fields here now and I'm just going to give you an example of a few of the bits and pieces of problems we had I suppose trying to get slurry out in the spring as you can see it has been marked I'm not worried about that what I am worried about is I don't know if you can see all of that redness here if you can just see right in front of me and that's just pretty much it's like a wee bowl in this wee area here you can see just that's a bit of a height there then it comes in to like a bit of a bowl and then it comes out of it then and up into another bit of a height what I think it actually has happened is that is just the curvature of that field and with the weather that we've had um, and the heavy machinery going over it it has probably busted a drain or two um, up here and then it's just running out over that field and into that kind of a bowl and it's not getting away from there so that's going to need addressed after the first cut because that is yeah as you can see it's like it's, it's very squishy underfoot the rest of the field's grand um but no that's going to need fixing because that there that's going to be a mess so it is but the rest of the field's looking very very good the grass is very strong in this field again like the other field that i showed you um and as i say the rest of the field's dry as you can see that's nearly that's, that is the height of my valley so grass is flying it has reacted very well to that slurry we put on earlier in the spring and i'm seeing that a lot around the country anything that has did get that uh, early slurry is flying as we're showing all done now we have our washed and parked up um have to say very impressed that we saw uh, something we've probably wanted for something we've wanted for a long time i just couldn't find the right excuse to spend the money <laughs> but i'm glad i did even for those uh small small bits of grazing uh it'd be fierce handy not having to hook the tractor on to the sower just for a couple of acres like so and also my plan going forward is to cut earlier so having that outlet to get out earlier in the year is going to be a godsend to me and as i say she'll not be long paying for herself uh just been fit to get out that wee bit earlier ground still too wet hey any of them wee ruts that was made during slurry they've carried that much water still hasn't um dried out enough and i don't want to go in and start making a mess i'd rather wait and just skip them wee bits at first cut and then go in and uh if i have to pull a drain to it pull a drain to it or whatever it takes i do see that a lot and our fields um as drains whether it's been overwhelmed or whatever but we have a, a number of of uh drains that are bu busted and it's just making the field very wet so we're going to have a lot of receding to do this year the plan was to do a lot of receding uh this year anyway but um we're going to have to tidy a lot of a lot of ground up so um that's that for this week folks anyway um suppose looking ahead now to the next video uh, f a lot of people have been on to me about the hen house and yes we will have a video next week just dedicated to this and uh, only the hen house so I uh, suppose it's something we don't talk a way lot about on this channel uh, so far to be honest it's it's it's, uh, it's the same thing every day so I don't want to bore people to death with it either but it's a very important part of my business and uh, it's something that I am very happy that I've done. So next week we will have uh, a video of the hen house and ins and outs of it and all the rest. So that folks, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you can. It really helps us out and uh, we'll see you in the next one.